The 2018 Winter Olympics are right around the corner in Pyeongchang, South Korea. With excitement building for the opening ceremonies, I'm joined in the lounge by our experts, Emmanuel Tobe, Alex Warlick, and Megan Podgorsi, to tell us what to look for come Wednesday. So guys, it's the Winter Olympics. You've got all these crazy sports, luge, skeleton, biathlon. What is your favorite weird sport, stereotypically, of course, that you're looking forward to see come the Winter Olympics? Oh, mine definitely has to be the biathlon. I mean, come on, you have guys who are like on ice skates with freaking rifles on their backs and they're shooting. Oh, it's so entertaining. They're skis. They're cross country <laughs> skis. skis. They're skis. shooting ice rifles. Skates. That might just yep. be the southern <laughs> in me, but it's just so entertaining to watch. Um, there's just so many different like events that they have. It's just so entertaining. My problem with that is it just takes too long. So I'm more of a uh, ski jump person. I <laughs> like watching it. It's different. I mean, who aspires is to be a ski jump? I wouldn't call it what? unusual. What? Is it different? I would go down the hill, jump, 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 jump land. <laughs> that's, okay. just, that's honestly just my neighborhood. Like, when I that. think of, yeah, right. <laughs> when I think of common Olympics, winter Olympic sports, I think of hockey, ice skating, you know. Who thinks of ski jumping? I definitely don't. I'm going skeleton, and the reason why I'm going skeleton is it takes me back to my childhood of just going down the, the mountain when the snow's out and just just sledding down a, a, a nice hill. I, I think it's cool. With go, blades attached. They go like 150 miles an hour. Exactly. Like, where did you live at? Where you <laughs> <were doing that? laughs> now, Winter Olympians might not be as prominent as some of the Summer Olympians. Which athlete are you most looking forward to seeing the, in this year's Winter Olympics? We'll start this way and go this way, Anis. If you're saying anybody other than Sean White, you need to get out of my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean White is is the Winter Olympics. I'm, I'm, he's he's just the winner. He's just the the Super Bowl commercial for the Winter Olympics. Well, he's, sure. well, he's snowboarding, but he's the most recognized American athlete in the Winter Olympics, and he was the most mentioned in social media last year. When he came in fourth, though, when he didn't even place a medal. Right, but he's but 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 we're saying who's who's. Who's the athlete that you're looking forward to? And I think that's who ev everybody's really focused on. I'm looking forward to someone who's a no-name. Um, it's really Heather Bor Bergsma, excuse me. And she's a long track um, speed skating up and comer. And I picked her because she's from uh, High Point, North Carolina, right. you know, 35 okay. minutes down the road. Right. Like who, who would have think that you're from North Carolina going to be a ice skater, a speed skater. So I think it's cool to watch someone, you know, she hasn't done so well um, going up. She's only placed six, I think is the highest she's ever placed. But I think she has a real chance. The the I can't see it. Not a real chance. I want to say someone who actually has a real chance, not someone who's going to come oh. in four. Oh. Or someone who's going to come in oh. two-time gold medal. Two-time gold medal. <laughs> well, I had to go 2014. But no, <laughs> mine is Lindsey Vaughn, who actually missed the 2014 Olympics because Poor of her torn her. ACL. And then she toured again in 2015, I believe it was. And then 2016, uh, she got injured again. So she just really had like a rough kind of trip to the Olympics. So I'm excited to see her. Now, as far as the U.S. is concerned, the U.S. always does extremely well in the Winter Olympics. Not necessarily as well as they do in the summer. But which sport do you think that the U.S. is basically guaranteed a gold in or you're looking to see if they get gold in this year? For me, it's definitely um, curling mixed doubles. It's a brand new huh. event this year, um, and there's a brother-sister combo from Wisconsin, the Hamilton siblings, and they are amazing. And they've even beaten Canada in the world international tournaments. So I think they have a real chance to great the, get a new um, medal this year. And it's real quick. Who do you got? Oh, I've definitely got uh, women's half pipe. It's it's Chloe yeah, Chloe Cam. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have men's freestyle skiing half pipe. Men's freestyle skiing half. David Wise. All right. That's all I got to say. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for the Olympics, but Thomas will be joining me shortly to talk about which halftime shows at the Super Bowl we wish we'd seen.